Hello everyone, the incredible shrinking bearded man here. Uh, I got a quick video for you today. Um, I got a direct message on my Facebook account, on my page account anyways, um, from a lady. Uh, I, won't, I, I won't mention her name. Uh, she's going to also get a, cop, um, a link to this video once it's posted. Uh, she messaged me saying that she's pretty much hit rock bottom with her eating. Uh, husband is not very supportive. She don't even know where to start. Uh, the taste of real food uh, is disgusting to her. Um, you know, and she just she has no idea where to begin. She knows what she needs to, or what she wants to be doing as far as getting healthier and getting trimmer, but she just don't know where to start. Um, from what I've learned in the past, and from what I've read, you know, and all the research I've done. Um, it says that like your gut bacteria actually will send your, will kind of dictate your cravings to a point. And I do believe that because after eating healthy for so long, like I really crave healthy, healthy, healthy food. I don't crave the junk anymore. It's taken a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hard, hard work getting to that point though. And, you know, went back in the day when I was, you know, a lot heavier and my eating habits were worse, I still could stomach some of the real food. You know, it just, I liked, I preferred the crappier, you know, deep fried, whatever. Um, I always say that you got to find your why. Your why. Why do you want to do this? Why, why do you want to get healthy? Why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to... Uh, you know, change your lifestyle. And that's a big thing because your why has a lot to do with your motivation and your why has a lot to do with that momentum. Like, you know, if you really don't want it that bad, you're not going to do it. That's, that's the main, that's the hardest thing to ever, uh, you know, put, put forth to yourself is, you know, like, do I really want this? Am I putting forth my best effort to, to uh, do this, you know, am I, am I really trying that hard? Do I really want it that bad? And that's, uh, that's the main thing for me that I've had troubles with in the past was I became so complacent with those bad habits and it ended up being, you know, I ended up doing more harm than good. I mean, but there finally came a point in time where I got so sick and tired of feeling sick and tired every day and you know and and I all I, I educated myself over and over again I still to this day educate myself on a daily basis podcasts YouTube videos uh, you know reading articles and and such I mean there's there you have to you have to constantly be self-aware of these things you have to constantly learn 90% of the stuff I even I even listen to these days or or watch or read or whatever it's like I already know this stuff but it just reaffirms it in my brain that hey this is what I need to be doing like you know and I've always I've always noticed like when I stop kind of doing my own research like or just doing like the validation of why I do the things I do you know, I started kind of trailing off the path a little bit because, like, if I'm not constantly beating it in my brain that, hey, this is what you need to be doing, I, I'm probably going to be less likely to do it. Like, you know, like my, like, the stuff that I, I educate myself with is kind of like almost like a personal trainer hovering over my shoulder. And, you know, I'm just gaining a big wealth of knowledge there. But I'm digressing to, you know, I'm totally missing the point of this though, is you have to, I think you have to start, um, start out small and just add some, some bite to the real food to it and maybe choose a better option of the crappy food that you're, which is kind of hard to do. I mean, really, I mean, you're either, but I'm an advocate of just whole foods completely. Um, there is a place, uh, True North Health Center in uh, California, Santa Rosa, California, I believe, that will actually put you on a medically supervised water fast for this kind of really severe situation. Um, you know, I mean, you, I don't think physically, like, I think most of that, uh, 
I would think anyways, most of that whole like, I can't stand real food thing has got to be mental. I mean, you know, your body is desperately wanting nutrients and craving nutrients. But your gut microbe is telling you, give me that sugary stuff. Give me that fatty, sugary, salty stuff. I want it so much, you know. And that's that's where a lot of it goes is like you are, you do become what you eat to a point. And if you're eating crap foods, your stomach and your body is going to end up being like crap to a point. And trust me, like like when you like, it's so worth it when you you just focus on and say, you know what? I'm going to put myself at a higher priority right now. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do better for myself. I'm going to treat my body better for once, you know, and I'm, not, I'm going to stop abusing it. Like when you got, if you stub your toe every day on the same coffee table, you're never going to get healed ever, you know, and you're never going to be able to heal that, you know, heal that process and, and get it to the point where it is actually doesn't, is, it stops hurting. And that's a big deal is, you know, and for the longest time there, I was half-assing it. I was doing really good through the week, crappy on the weekends. I still do that once in a while, but it's all about, uh, you know, the law of averages. Like if you're averaging more healthier choices than not so healthy choices, it's going to start making a little bit of a difference. It ain't going to be, you know, your body ain't going to be, you know, reset itself to where it used to be, but at least you're going to feel better. You're going to be in less pain. I mean, I mean, I remember in the message, she says that she's just in complete pain and she can barely walk. And you know, a lot of that's not your body. A lot of that's just the inflammation from the crappy foods that you're eating. And you know, this is going to sound like a lot of tough love, but you know, sometimes you got to shit or get off the pot. I mean, or not like get off the pot completely. You should never just completely get off the pot. But you have to, you have to, uh, you have to like finally figure out that why. You know, it's like I said, the why. Why do I want to like be healthier? Why do I want to make better choices? And, you know, and, but you got to think of the positives too. Like, like what am I going to gain from eating healthy? Like you're going to wake up. Eventually, one day after you start treating yourself so good, you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be like, you know what? I feel good this morning. I'm not tired. Like, you know, because there's so many mornings where I'm just like, I was a complete zombie for three, four hours after I woke up, and I had to like, you know, like like mask it with caffeine and nicotine and God knows what else and sugary crap and everything. Like, our bodies are not designed to be eating these junk foods. I mean, like right here. This is a 70 ounce keg of water that I bring around with me everywhere I go. I'm not drinking any more of the other crap. It's, it's just strictly water. You know, and uh, I will tell you right now, if this is not a good enough response, uh, message me again and I'm going to try to do my best to help you out. But um, you got to find your why. You got to talk to your, your, your husband and be like, you know what, this is important to me. This is what I want to do. This is what, you know, this is important to us. This is this is literally life-changing. And it's life-threatening too. Cuz if you don't get control of your health, like you're going to you if you already don't have one, you're going to get lifestyle diseases and you're going to get, you know, well, you know, not guaranteed, but you know, you're you're increasing your risk so much. And you deserve better. And I hope that anybody watching this knows that. Like, you can do better, but you got to try. You got to do it. You have to. You have to get out there. You have to bust your ass. You, you know, you, you don't even necessarily have to bust your ass at the start. Just get moving. Eat better. Eat, eat real food. And if you can't eat real food right off the bat, do like a quarter of real food. Do half of real food. Do an eighth of, you know, whatever, a 10%. Start adding it in. Your body's going to love you and just try to get more and more in every week and try to get better foods in every day and get some of those crappier foods out every day. But I'm going to run out of time. My phone only does 10 minutes and I'm, I got like a 25 seconds left. Uh, follow me on uh, in Instagram, uh, Incredible Shrinking Bearded Man, uh, Facebook, The Incredible Shrinking Bearded Man, YouTube, The, in the Incredible Shrinking Bearded Man. Keep going, keep kicking ass. I'll talk to you guys later.